In this video, I will introduce a simpler method, method of superposition, to solve for statically indeterminate beams, provided that the formulas of deflection for standard beams are available for reference. If you recall, we introduced the principle of superposition already when we were studying the axial displacement. Similarly, if the deformation is small, we can also apply the principle of a superposition to deflected beams. For example, for this beam, if we know its elastic curve under loading situation 1, as well as its elastic curve under loading situation 2, then for the loading situation 3, which is the combination of the previous two loading situations, the elastic curve of this beam is simply the combination of the previous two elastic curves. And in this case, not only does the maximum deflection equal to the addition of the previous two maximum deflections, the deflection at any point also equals to the addition of the deflection at the same point evaluated from the previous two situations. Therefore, if the formulas of deflection for simple beams with standard loadings are known, we can use them to determine the elastic curves for more complicated beams by applying the principle of superposition. We can use this method of superposition to determine statically indeterminate beams as well. For the standard formulas, we can derive them ourselves and save them for later reference like we did before. If you recall, we determined this equation before in one of the previous videos. This formula can also be rewritten this way. But we can also look up those standard formulas in our textbooks, engineering handbooks, or from the internet. So now let's revisit this statically indeterminate problem. Again, we need to solve for all the support reactions. And this time, we're going to solve this problem using the method of superposition. At point B, the force exerted by the roller support is our unknown force By. And our compatibility condition is very simple, that at point B, the deflection is zero. Therefore, now we can treat this beam as the combination of two loading situations. Situation 1, we have only the applied 9 kN force. And situation 2, we only have the support reaction By. So for situation 1, from its elastic curve, if we can evaluate the deflection at point B, V1B, and from situation 2, again from the elastic curve, if we can evaluate the deflection at point B as well, V2B, then according to our compatibility condition, the total deflection at point B is the addition of these two deflections determined from situation 1 and situation 2, and that must be 0. Therefore, from this equation, we should be able to solve for our unknown force By. So for cantilever beam subjected to only one vertical force, we can either derive its deflection function ourselves or look it up from the internet or our textbooks and calculate the deflection at point B in the first situation and the deflection at point B in the second situation, which, as you can see, contains our unknown force By. Substitute them into our compatibility condition. And from here, we can solve for By. And once By is solved, this member now is statically determinate. And we can solve for the support reactions at point A using equilibrium alone. As you can see, these results are the same as the ones we got in the previous video using the method of integration. Now let's revisit this example. If you recall, when I was solving this problem in the previous video using the method of integration, I had to set up nine linear equations and solve for nine unknowns simultaneously. But now we're going to solve it using method of superposition. Again, I'm going to remove the roller support at point B and replace it with the support reaction By, which I need to solve for. And now I'm going to treat this beam as the combination of three simpler loading situations.
Situation one, with only the distributed load. Situation two, with only the applied concentrated 400 pound load. And situation three, with only the support reaction BY. From these three elastic curves, I want to evaluate the deflection at point B and my compatibility condition is once again that the total deflection at point B is the addition of the three deflection at point B evaluated from these three elastic curves and it must be zero. For the simply supported beam subjected to the distributed load, I looked up its deflection function. Therefore, for situation one, I can evaluate the deflection at point B accordingly. For the simply supported beam subjected to the concentrated load, again, I looked up its deflection function, and I can evaluate the deflection at point B in situation two accordingly, as well as the deflection at point B in situation three. As you can see, it contains our unknown support reaction BY. Therefore, substitute them into my compatibility condition from here, I can solve for the support reaction BY to be 475 pounds. And as soon as BY is evaluated, this beam is no longer statically indeterminate. And we can solve for the support reactions at point A and C using equilibrium, which, as you can see, are the same results that we got in the previous video using the method of integration.